So today, because we are, uh, uh, first of all, uh, uh, next week if we can uh, make it uh, a little bit uh, earlier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's possible. I guess it's possible. <laughs> it's hard <laughs> because the davening. Uh, uh, it's it's possible. How much earlier? Uh, Quarter past eight, half past eight. Interesting. Interesting. Because I have to go, uh, we're making a birthday to my mother. Oh, okay. She's 80. Oh, that's it. That's So, uh, so what do you say to a man that is uh, 120? <laughs> 150. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now because we are so close to Tisha uh, B'Av, it's a. Uh, so I, I I thought you know I saw this this thing here and it goes with the uh, the Torah where where we are. So it's in the end of the Likutei Moharan. It's on the. So what, you know, the, what, what, what uh, Rabinathan and other from the students found after Rabbeinu passed away, they found in handwriting, in his handwriting, so they put it in the end. Because it doesn't go really on, on, the, on the tour, but each one is connected to, 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 to someone. So, here he speaks about uh, suffering, yeah, suing. He said that uh, <coughs> when someone gets uh, humiliated, yeah, so then he's changing, all his colors are changing. And uh, this is the, the main point of making children. And by taking it without answering, not in your mouth and not with your heart, yeah, that's how you fix yourself, you mend yourself, you, 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 you become a man, you know? And you say we spoke about the Aleph, what happened with, with the Aleph, what happened between the sun and the moon, what happened with, between the Rav and the teacher, and the student, and the Talmud. Everything happens, why? Because of this point, that you get humiliated and you keep quiet. That's what, that, that, that's what, how you made all the, and this is what we call the, you know, like a, a function in Kabbalah. Because, why, why? Because Rabbeinu shows us all the Kabbalah that is involved in our life. And how we are moving all the high uh, places up there in the, in the sky. So, when you get humiliated, it's, it's called uh, Isurim. What is uh, Isurim? Suffering, misery, yeah? All of these uh, nice things. But how do you say Isurim? Torture? Torment? No, torment is against me again. Torment? Yeah, torment, yeah. Uh, Tribulations. What? <laughs> long word. <laughs> Came out. Long word. Thermos. Thermos. You know what it is? That's anyway, this is what, what what happened to you. You know when when uh, when you when you. you when you get humiliated, it, it, it says in the, in the Gemara, it says, what is the 
the, the tachlis of Isurim. How do you, what do you see in Isurim? When you put your hand in the pocket and you want to take uh, five shekel and you get half a shekel, this is Isurim. And this is uh, humiliating. Why? Because I, I want the world to, 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 to behave like I want him to behave. Yeah? The, all the world. Yeah? When I make a business, I want everything to go like I want it to go. You know, I want the other side to agree to all my uh, uh, naive, to, all, to what I want, you know, and how, uh, how, the way I want it to do it. And okay, I'm, I'm willing to listen, to listen to him, yeah? I'm listening to him. You know, but why do I listen to him? To understand how I can change his mind to go like I want it to, mm. to go. And if it doesn't go like I want it to go, so I feel uh, that I failed. Yeah. So he says this, there are two ways to, to, uh, to learn tick, to sweeten the, the misery that comes over me. One is to make tshuva be before it comes. Yeah? Before it comes, I know that if I won't go on the right way, I will get, I will get to him. I will get uh, some something of the misery, of the pain, of the humiliation, humiliation that I have to go because that's how Hashem pulls me to the to the uh, right way. But the second is when 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 the Yisurim are already on me, you know, like I am, uh, I am sick, one of the, the kids are sick, uh, someone had uh, an accident, uh, someone made a business and, and failed with it and lost uh, a lot of money, someone doesn't have enough money, he, he, he's working or whatever, he doesn't make enough money, all this misery that he, he has in his life, that it doesn't go on the way that he wants it to go, and it's immediate. Humiliates him, yeah? I'm not, I'm not a man, you know? A man is commit, committing suicide. Why? Because he couldn't uh, bring uh, enough money to, 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 to his family. So he's not a man. If I don't bring enough money to, for my family, I'm not a man. If I'm not a man, I jump <laughs> from the roof down, you know? To become a bird. <laughs> to become a bird, you know? Try to become a bird and become uh, nothing, yeah? Yeah? So, so he said the the, the 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 other way to sweeten the sewing. What does it mean to sweeten the sewing? Yeah, I I make them sweet. Yeah, now I feel like it's a misery. I think I I feel like it's a humiliation. I I I change it. It's it's not a misery. It's not a humiliation. It's it's good. Now how do how do I do I do it? You know, he says uh, to 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 accept them. How? In happiness. The simcha. To accept them, the simcha. Yeah. After now, what I knew is to accept the isurim in love. Okay, I know Hashem wants it, but in simcha. You have to be happy. Every time you get humiliated, every time you, it doesn't go like you want to go, every time you feel misery, you have to start dancing. At least, <laughs> at least smile. <laughs> smile, yeah, at least smile, okay. But put a good music on, you know, happy music, and, you know, be happy. You know, maybe take a little bit of uh, something, uh, uh, whiskey, you know, but psh, yeah, I'm very happy. What happened? You know, I don't have enough money for Shabbat. Uh, uh, my son or his, uh, someone got uh, wounded in an uh, in, uh, in accident or whatever we feel, you know, now be happy. Now, it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. Yeah. It really sounds crazy. You know, the guy got out of his mind. This is the real... If this is the really story, this is the real misery when someone goes out of his mind. Yeah? So what, what, what do you say? Okay? Is it get, uh, accept them with a lot of happiness. And this is how you sweeten the Yisurim. Why? Because the Yisurim have tova gdola umetukim meod. They are very good for him and they are very sweet. <laughs> That's what he says. Why? Because they are already here. And why? Because Hashem Ibarach 
is uh, is uh, putting himself into the insulin. Why? Because in normal life, I do most of the time what I want to do, and most of the time it's uh, successful. Oh, Hashem, you know, I have a good life. I uh, in, home, uh, in the house it's more or less okay with my wife, with, with my kids, with my partners. Uh, it's okay, you know. I'm a little bit worried what what is going in there with the world uh, economy and uh, this, uh, and maybe I will lose my uh, place uh, where, where I'm working, you know. But for Hashem, everything is okay up to, up to now. So where is God? I don't see it. You know, I'm going on the right way. I'm governing exactly like I should govern. I, I, I make, I give tzedakah like I should give tzedakah, you know, I, I learn Torah like I should learn Torah, I do everything, all my uh, Jewish duties like I should do them. So I look at myself, I say, yeah, that's not, not like this, I go like this, yeah, man, you know, man, man, man. Not exactly, but Baruch Hashem, I'm doing fine, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but when the Yisurim comes to you, Hashem went over down to you and told you, Mr. Eud, move a little bit to the left side, move a little bit to the right side. So now Hashem is speaking straight to me. Okay. So when you have a guest, you know, like, before you come, you know, I uh, put like this, and I do like this, like everything is okay, you know, that I see that everything, everything. my house looks uh, normal, yeah? I don't want you to see my house, uh, you know, but if the king is coming to my house, huh? I, I, will, I will paint it uh, again, and I will be, wow, I'll be so happy. You know, so now the king is coming to me, he came over to me, he told me, I'm coming over to you. So the so the Yisurim are a big favor that Hashem is doing for us. Tovah Torah, and they are very sweet because Hashem is here. This is the way Rabbi Nachman will uh, look at it. You know, <laughs> you can look at it as even though that now I see it, it looks to me like it's a bad thing that happened to me. But on the time to come, in Gan Eden and this, you know, it will be it will be okay. But really. Whatever a man means, he means here. You have to see everything here. Here is good. The soul here is good and they are very sweet. Why? Because Hashem is with you. Now Hashem, for sure, you know He's with you. And He likes you. And He loves you. And He's with you. Why? Because, because when, you, uh, when you have the soul, you come on the, on, the, on, the, on the soul. And then, Azai nefesh shelo eno arevalo k'ilu natlu ha-yisurim et nafsho. And then he feels, I, I don't like my soul. I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't like my, my, my life. I, 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 had, I, I, had, I had enough. But the Hashem, He loves everyone of Israel with a big love, with a strong love, like He loves Himself, you know? And he puts himself into the into the soul, and he gives him the power to take them. Why? That he will get all to the davar gadol matok midrash. He will get all the best and something that is sweeter than honey. <laughs> you know, I, when I saw it, you know, I saw it. It's, now it's Tisha B'Av. What, what happened in Tisha B'Av? We lost the Bet HaMikdash. Okay, big deal. You know, who is crying? Who is crying for the Bet HaMikdash? Hashem. Hashem is crying for the Bet HaMikdash. Yes, for sure. You know, he has a certain place that is called the Mistarim, a hidden place, mm -hmm. that every day he goes into this hidden place at night and he cries about the Bet HaMikdash, about the Tzadikim, and about Am Yisrael, that are not on the right place. But who is crying from from Amisaya? How many people? There are people that get up at uh, midnight and make uh, Tikkun Chatzot and sit on the floor and on Tisha B'Av. There are much 
much more people that go to the the Knesset and sit on the floor and and say the what you know the prayers they have to say. But who is crying? In the Yemenite uh, communities, mm-hmm. on Tisha B'Av, most most of them cry. They have the tune of the of the kinot that, that they say themselves. You know, it, it's it's hard not to uh, not to cry. And the, the tune, you know, if when I hear it, you know, I don't understand that I should cry from this tune. It's uh, how is it monotonous? Monotonous. Monotonous. Yeah. <laughs> like this, it goes like this. Now I, I don't, I don't have the feeling. It doesn't you know? touch your heart. Yeah, I don't, uh, but but they, you know, you, you you go to them, you see them cry. Why we don't cry? And even the Yemenite guys, you know, they only cry in Tisha B'Av. Why not every day? Because we don't understand what, what, what is it. What we're missing. Yeah, we don't understand what we're missing. And what really we are missing? We are missing the opportunity to start everything from the beginning. Because what now makes my heart, what kills my heart, you know, like... Breaks my heart. It, it, uh, it kills my heart, you know, I, I don't feel it. I, I don't have feeling. My feelings are very, very, very... Low, you know, it's, uh, when someone tells you, you know, when, when someone, uh, your brother tells, t- t- tells you that, they, wow, I, I was in, in, in an accident, you know, come to the hospital, you come, you see your brother, you know, he's broken and his head is open and he, everything, you know, wow, or if he dies, you start crying, why? It's your brother, you understand why you're crying? It's a circle, it's, it's something with your, with your brains, no, it's a feeling, I grew up with him. But really, it is a sechel. It is, it is a, I understand who is my brother. Because I grew up with him. I know him, I know his character, I know how we were good friends together, you know, so I cried for him. You know, but the Bet Amigdash, I don't understand. So the Bet was, was was the chance for us, for each one of us, to open our heart again. Because what closes our heart is all the sins. So my heart is closed, my brain is closed, and I cannot enjoy life. I cannot enjoy Torah. I cannot enjoy Tzvila. I cannot enjoy the mitzvahs. I'm not connected to them, so I cannot, I cannot enjoy them. But if it would happen, you know, when, we, when the Bet Amigdash was there, I will go to the Bet Amigdash. Yeah, if I'm a rich man, I will bring a big cow with me. <laughs> if I'm a poor one, I'll, I'll bring a... Uh, oh Huh? A little bird. Little, uh, bird, and if I, I'm, I'm even poorer than, than that, I can bring a uh, grain. grain. Yeah, that's it. I go there. I go into the better of there. I say, uh, Hashem, I'm really sorry. I want to be a good boy. Please forgive me. Okay. I start from the beginning. I start from the beginning. You know, I open the, I open the book. Wow enjoy it all the time, you know, I'm, I'm happy, something bad comes over me, you know, wow, Hashem, thank you very much, you know, start dancing and happy all the time. That's good life. And that's what we lost. And that's what we're supposed to cry about. So, but then Rabbi Nachman says to us, before you start crying, Start being happy. You have to understand that Shem is with you. When, when you are broken, this is the time that the better Middash is broken. Because in each, in each one of us, there is the better Middash. I have my private better Middash in my heart. My heart is broken by the misery and by the humiliation that comes over me. You know? Now the better Middash is broken. Who is breaking the better Middash? Hashem. What he told uh, when, when uh, they, they burned up the Bet Amigdash, it came out a uh, bad call, how do you say bad call? Uh, what? The voice from the sky, from the Shechina, came, came out and he said, Bait Chavu Bechravta, Ram Muke Iketa, you broke a broken house, the house was broken before. 
The nation was broken before. The, the Israeli nation, the Jewish nation was broken before you burnt the Beit HaMikdash. Because I broke them. Because they didn't go in the way I wanted them to go. What, is, what was the way that they wanted to go? Huh? What was the way? Getting the humiliation in happiness. You got the humiliation, understand I am bringing I am bringing it over, over you. I bring it to you. I come to your house to help you go on the right way. This is the the Yisurim. This is the Yisurim. No? I was very excited when I uh, read it. So you said, you know, we heard it before when, when uh, we go up, Hashem is there, but yeah. <laughs> we go down, Hashem is there. Okay, 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 okay. No, there, there I, I understood to accept the misery with love. Right. But love is not, it's not like uh, happiness. Happiness you get in, in enthusiastic, yeah, yeah. you know, wow, you know. Love, okay, I, I, okay, accept, you love me, Hashem, thank you, you know, but then you, be happy with it. You have to be happy with it. I saw it, you know, I, I went with this, what you, you're saying, I went to a friend of mine. And uh, his son is in jail in uh, Ukraine. And this guy worked for Rabbi Nachman 25 years, you know, since they opened the Ukraine, you know, he built with his hands all the, sh uh, the shoes, all the Red Knesset men, he built with his hands with, the, you know, a hammer and uh, wood and, and then with uh, cement and he built it all the time. He's an amazing guy, this guy. He was, uh, before he made sure he was uh, an actor in uh, Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's a big guy. Yeah. And he's, oh, you know, he goes like this, you know, he, when, he, when, he, when he's 60, you know, he's, he's an actor, you know. <laughs> and still he's, he's like this. So I showed him to him, you know, what we, what we learned. So he showed me this. You have to be happy with uh, your son. So he said, w what makes me happy in this misery that my son is uh, in jail, you know, and for nothing. They took him to jail because he made too... he did too much in, uh, in Uman. So they wanted uh, to stop him. So they took his, cha his son to jail. Mm. And it, it usually it works with money. You can take him out. They don't take him out, you know, for, for no money, for nothing. But they let him speak uh, on the phone with his son. So they learned this uh, this uh, part together, you know. So he said, "Wow, well, I'm happy, you know. I'm happy. I can speak with my son on the phone, and we learn together Likutei Moran. I'm happy, and and he's, he's really like this. Okay, so he, he showed me he showed me this, and it gives me a a wish that I uh, can uh, accept the uh, misery and happiness and sweeten them." And when you sweeten the, this uh, misery and the, the, the humiliation, when you sweeten it, this is what happens. You get to be a man sitting on a chair and getting all the shefa to, 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 to all the world, to yourself and to all the world. This is what we are here for, you know. We are, we are here for to, to, to give away, to give. And, and we make a mistake that we think that we are here to receive. To receive. Yeah. And that's the mistake. We are here to give. We have to give. Okay, so we are here on the end of the chapter 5 or paragraph or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and it says that the we learned, we learned about the sun and the moon and the Rav and the Talmud. And then he says, Vakisayon and the chair, the upper chair, Hainu Nekudai Yona, Nechleket the Shlosh the, Tikim, the, the upper yud in the Aleph, the, the Aleph is the Rav and the upper, upper yud and the lower yud. So it, 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 it breaks down into three. Drops. Why? Because you have to be able to 
the tshuva has to have two uh, conditions, uh, three conditions to, to make tshuva. Like it's written, Tenir Ebenav, maybe he will see with his eyes, Ugoz Narishma, and with his ears he will hear, Ulevavoyavin, and his heart will understand, Veshav the Rafalo, and then he will make tshuva. So, this is the three uh, conditions to make tshuva. To see with your eyes, to hear with your ears, <laughs> and to understand with your heart. So, what do you want me to, 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 to see with my ears, and to hear with my eyes, and to understand with my hands? What does, uh, what does the Prophet say? No? So, it, we, we, we learn here in uh, Yeshaya, uh, so, so he says to him, you know, who uh, he, he gets uh, in in pasuk uh, he says, "Vayomer lech ba'amart al amazeh, go and say to this nation, shimu shamoa, listen and listen. It's, you, you, you do it twice. The altavin." and don't understand. The Uao, see and see, and don't know. Hashmen Levaam, make the heart of this nation fat, you know, like, like, it, uh, like a mashal, when you, are, you have a fat over your, ha- your heart, that you cannot understand with it. Boznavachmed, uh, make uh, his ears that they won't hear. Ve'enavasha, and close his eyes, that he won't see. Why? Because if he won't do it, maybe he will see with his eyes, and he will listen with his ears, and he will understand with his heart, and then he will make tshuva. So, this is the time, this is the time, like, that we are after everything. The gzera is already there. Bet Amidash is going to be destroyed. But still, you know, with the contrast that Am Yisrael has with Hashem Ibarak, yeah, Hashem has to uh, 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 return. No, re- re- reward. Eh? Reward. Not reward, uh, to, to, tell, to tell us that, that, that the danger is coming, is coming. Warn. Warn. Warn, warn, yeah, warn us. That's to warn us, because uh, you mustn't punish before you warn someone. Yeah? So now he's warning us, but he doesn't want us to listen. He doesn't want us to, un- to understand. Mm. So he says, tell them, you know, tell them, but they won't hear with the, with the ears, and they won't see with the eyes. And at the only building now, Okay, but the real will be nice. He says that in the listening there are three points. First, you listen. It's a technical thing that, that your ear can hear something, and then from the from the ear it goes to the heart. And then you have a chance to put it inside the heart to look at it. Yeah, it can touch it. The same with the when you see, you see it's a technical thing. Yeah? Then you have to put it into your brains. Because the eye is that doesn't see. It only brings it to your brains. And then from the brains you should bring it to your heart. And then in your heart you should look at it. That's what we started with the uh, suing. Yeah? What do we start with the suing? They come to you. You have to look at it. To see. Everything that goes over in, in our life, we have, we have to listen to it and to see it and to put it in our heart. And that's why Rabbi Nachman says, I have many, many, many suggestions for you how to have good life. But above all the suge- suggestions, and with <coughs> the advices, all the advices that I give you, yeah, goes the importance. Why? Because without it, you don't take... It doesn't work. It doesn't go into your heart. If it doesn't go into your heart, you cannot cry. How can I cry about the Beit Hamikdash if I if I if I don't if I, if I don't think about it if I don't put it into my heart? How, how can I cry about it? You know, it's like you know, uh, someone uh, 
uh, was, was married with a woman and uh, he didn't go and they got divorced and after they got divorced uh, she told him that she's pregnant. Okay, so she's pregnant. He doesn't want to come back to her. And he goes and he gets married and he lives together, you know. And uh, that was when he was 20 years old, yeah? When he's 60 years old, this boy should be like 40 years old. No, he, got, he gets killed in an in a, in accident. So the father has to sit uh, Shiva, yeah? So he sits Shiva. He feels something. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. It's my, after all, it's my son, but I never saw him. I never, I never had any connection with him. But it, it's the same son, you know, growing up with his father. And now he gets killed in an accident. His father, his father is crying, sitting on the, on, 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 on the floor and he's crying. So, so, why we live it? It's not what I know. I, I, I know there's a better Mikdash. I know Hashem is here in the world. I know I am part of uh, Am Israel. I know it. Okay, no. So, but if I learn about it and I put it into my heart and I live with it, then I can cry. Then I can and I, I can feel something when it's happening. So, however, what uh, you know. What do I see? I don't, I don't see anything. What? I don't see anything. You don't see anything? Wow, you see so many things every day. So many things. And this is the problem of our generation. That we see so many things that we don't have time to look at them. We know everything. What's happening all over the world. <coughs> And we hear so many times, we hear there's a murderer over there, you know, he killed three kids. There's a murderer over there, he killed six kids. There's a, a terrorist over there, he got exploded. Uh, again and again and again. I don't have a place in my heart to, 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 to feel all, this, uh, all these things. You might be right that you don't have a place in your heart to feel all these all these things. You might be right, but I think you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why you are wrong? Because I well, in, in, in my seichel, in my in my understanding, in my logical thinking, you know, I, I don't have the power to, to, to think and cry over all these things. You are right. But if you take one hour a day, one hour a day for your brothers, for your kids one hour a day and think about it. Take one of all these things and think about it. No doubt people, they went over for a holiday. It wasn't right. It was not on the right days for by the Jewish calendar. Okay, you know, but still they are Jews. They are my family. So I can give them one hour out of my life and sit and think about it. No, it's, it's, it's families. It's normal people. <laughs> No, I had I had the same. You know, when I was 12 years old, someone from the army knocked on the door, says, "Okay, you don't have a, you don't have a father anymore." Okay, so, so so the family is broken. The family is broken. Everybody, everybody is broken. I know it from my experience. Why don't take your experience and put it on other people? Yeah, someone was killed. There. A father, a brother, a son, a daughter. The family, all the family is broken. Yeah, we saw it again in, uh, in, in, in Emmanuel, when there was uh, the terrorist in, 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 in Emmanuel, and he bombed uh, a bus. So one of the soldiers that came out uh, was killed. So all the, all the people from the, from the issue came over to, to the house of these soldiers. So you could see it. Because you've been there, you saw his mother, you saw his, 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 his father, you saw his, his sisters, his brothers, his family. You can understand, you know. There's, there goes a young man, what well, was 19, 20, you know. He didn't, he didn't have a family, he didn't, he didn't have kids. He didn't. You can feel it. What, one hour a day, your heart is strong enough. 
to put this uh, sorrow inside him. All day you cannot take it because if you'll be sad all day, you couldn't work and you couldn't uh, take care of your kids and you couldn't do anything. But one hour a day you can take care of it. So you take one incident and you put your heart into this in incident and then when you feel this inc incident, you take all the rest inside. And then when you, when you, you take this sorrow yeah, and you understand, you know, Hashem is leading the world. What, what, what does He want from me when He shows me all these things? Here, yeah, I put it in my heart. Now it's in my heart. Now I can try and understand what Hashem is speaking to me. What He wants from me. And what He wants from me? You should make tshuva for all of them. How can I make tshuva for all of them? How can I do it? They don't listen to me. <laughs> huh? They don't listen to me. You know, who I am for them, you know, uh, like... Uh, Taish, how do you say Taish? Mm -hmm. No, like a goat. Well, a goat with a, with a beard. Who, who are you, you know, to tempt it to, to, to make tuba? Okay. Right, I, I cannot speak straight to them. No, but I... If I feel it, you know, I make tuba for them. Hashem, I am a brother. All of Israel are one. I am making tuba for them. I feel the, the, the sorrow now for them. I make sure for that. And it will, will work. They will feel. Hashem will put the, 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 the thought of tuba in their heart. Why? Because you move. Because uh, we are brothers. Uh, you said, Hashem said, that we are brothers. And what I feel, that they feel also. This is what... Yeah, but, but okay, you know, it's, it's really, wow, amazing words, you know. Wow, you know, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, worldwide love and uh, uh, togetherness and uh, wow, what good things. But look, uh, for example, you know, I won't take a, just a blessed of you know. Take a Kalibach. One man, he was one man. You know, he, he wasn't the best uh, guitar player, <laughs> and he wasn't the best singer, you know, and he wasn't the most uh, genius love, yeah, in the world, but he did a lot of things. He moved many people. Why? Because he thought about them, you know? You know, when he gave a hug to someone, he said, wow, this guy didn't get, uh, get a hug for a thousand years, <laughs> you know, <laughs> for all his... Uh, all the times that he was here, nobody hugged him, nobody kissed him, nobody thought about him. Maybe he's right. So I can do it also. I cannot be Karibach, you know, because it's, uh, he was Karibach, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, but I can be me. What can be me? What? Nobody <laughs> no, tells me. Listen with your ears, you know. Listen. Work with them. You know. The, the example is already there. You know, now it's written on Ami Israel that there's going to be a, a big explosion like a, on this bus. You can take it off. How do, you, how do I know I can take it off? Because if you listen, and if you look, and if you put it into your heart, the shal the rafalo. You will make tshuva, and you get rafua for the exalting. Even after it was, it was, it was made, the exalting was made already. You know, just look, look at the world, you know, it happened once, it happened twice, it can happen another time. So do it now, think about it now, cry about it now, don't wait. You know, all this, all this uh, lesson that, uh, that we learn here, you know, it's, it's, for, it's, it's a private lesson for me. But it's also a general lesson that if I'm doing it, I'm building the other, and I'm building the... Upper youth and the lower youth and the man that sits on the on the youth and I I, ke I get the sun and the moon yeah the chokma and the moon I, I get them t uh, together I get Moshe Rabbeinu and Yeshua that they are here now in, in our generation only I don't know who who they are you know I get them together I I'm doing so many things in general in in the world in ge in general and in Amisai in general I'm doing it. You believe? I believe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but now I can believe also. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's... 
wow, I, I'm doing so many, yes, you're doing so many. When will I see it? Maybe in this life, yeah, maybe the Mashiach will come today, usually it doesn't come on Friday, that's what it's written, yeah. you know, but uh, maybe it will come Sunday, Monday, any, any day to, to, to come, yeah, maybe after I will be 120, like they say, I don't know when I see it, but now with the, with the belief, I can do it, and how you, how you strengthen your belief, by doing doing. I see whatever I see, I have to take care of it. You know, I, I thought about, I didn't get to the end of the, this thought, you know, but like the companies of the cell phone, you know, they, they make so many mistakes, let's call it, in the, in the bill, you know. Ten, ten shekel more, fifty shekel more, to so many people, so many days, so many months, so many years. How much money does it take like this? And nobody raised up to say something. You can do it. You can say it. You can do something. Nobody, nobody is doing something. So how can I use this money? How can I use... I, I, yeah, I, I saw something. I understand. You know, they making uh, money not in a straight way. What, what, what do I understand from you? What I put into my heart? You know, these poor people that goes with the cell phone and throwing the money away. Why? Why is happening? Because I don't give enough stock. If I will give my money out, nobody could steal from me. Nobody can take anything from me because I, I took it by myself. You know, there's a story in the, in the Gemara. That uh, Rabbi Shimon on uh, Rosh Hashanah, he saw that uh, his nephew, I think I told you this story once, will, uh, will uh, lose uh, 600 uh, golden uh, coins. I don't know how much it is, uh, $60,000 or whatever. So he started uh, going to him every, every week. Hello, give me Tzedakah, please. Yeah, and he didn't need, he need it for, him, for himself, you know, give it back. So, yeah. On the end of the year, they got uh, arrested by the Roman uh, government. So he went over to jail and told them, uh, give the, the manager of the jail, give him six uh, red uh, coins, uh, it will be okay. So they gave him and he let him out. <laughs> So they, they told him, how do you know? Because he said, I made, uh, you know, I, I knew from this dream that you're going to lose 60, 600 coins. And I managed to take out of you only uh, 594 coins. So I knew that you have to take out another six. So that's why you were put in chain. So the same here, you know, if I would give the tzedakah that I'm supposed to give, nobody can take anything from me. No, there was one of the big rabbis, uh, Litvak rabbis in, uh, in uh, Poland, uh, I think, you know, that uh, I don't remember what happened exactly, but I know the end of the story is that the uh, Polish guy came with him with a gun. So he says, hey, shoot, you know, so he didn't shoot, he, he went away. So he still uh, he said, there's, there's no gun that can shoot me. I'm doing exactly what... God wants from me, no one can, no one can shoot me. So I, I, I see things, but I only see them, you know, they go over. Oh, blah, 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 blah. you speak about it a little bit and it goes over. You know, now what, what happened now, you know, the, the, it's, it's amazing, you know, it's unbelievable. You now the, the government, every year, they decide what, what cars will be for the ministers. So this year they decided that uh, BMW, what is a BMW? It's a German car. You forgot the Holocaust? Hmm. You, forgive, you, forgot, uh, you forgive the Germans for six million Jews? That they, that they I see it. What do I take from it? 
ואת עם ישראל, והולי עם ישראל, Don't forget. It goes by the Torah, you know, when was the, the, the Bet Mikdash destroyed? Almost 2,000 years. We don't forget it. You know, but if you don't go by the Torah, something that happened 70 years ago, forget it. It goes. Even it's, 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 it's an amazing bad thing that happened to us. Maybe the same uh, amount of people who were killed in the, in the Holocaust like in the, in, the, in the time of the Romans. Yeah? But because I don't put it in the Torah way, I don't re- remember it as the Torah uh, ordered me to remember, it goes. It goes and I don't, I don't put it into my, into my heart. It doesn't, it doesn't go. So you can take it on the bad way, you can look at it uh, on the, the good way, you know, if we remember like uh, Napoleon, how do you say Napoleon in English? Napoleon. <laughs> Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one time in, on uh, Tisha B'Av, he was in the Jewish uh, quarter, and he saw people uh, sitting on the floor and crying. So he asked, what? What is this? Yeah, they're crying about the Bet Amikdash that was destroyed. When was it? It was almost uh, 2,000 years ago. So, so, wow, if they're still crying, they will build it. If you still feel it, you will build it. So this is the general building of Amistad. But we have to build our when I see, to think what I see, to think what Hashem wants me, to, to learn from the, what, what, what I see. Even simple things, you know, like the cell phone, yeah, or like the, 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 the cars of the ministers, you know. See, put it into your heart. Okay, I, don't, I cannot think every, everything I will think so deep, you know, it, it, I cannot live like this. Okay, you are right, you cannot live like this. One hour a day. In this one hour a day, you will, get, you will get the experience how to remember the important things, to think about them in, the, in this, in this uh, one hour. Yeah. The difference, you know, the difference between the building of the, of the two first Bet Migdash was that there were big leaders. Shlomo Amelech built the first Bet Amigdash, and Ezra ben Nehemiah built the second, or the leaders that built the second Bet Amigdash. But the third Bet Amigdash, Rabbi Nachman is building it. <laughs> yeah? How does he build, he build it? He doesn't come up and show, here I am, you know, everybody, after me, we are going to do it. No. How does it build? You have to build it. And you have to build it. And I have to build it. You know, each one of you have to build. You have to build your stone. And how are you going to build it? Yeah. You have to have You have many more. <laughs> but uh, now we are working with, uh, with this stone. That's how we build uh, our better building. Slowly, slowly, you know. Slowly, slowly. Like a- any building is, is built like this. You know, first you dig deep in the ground and then you put cement and then you do this and that. It takes time. So that's how we do it. So Be'ezot Hashem, we'll hear good news soon. When Mashiach will come with all the tzaddikim, we're going to see them. I hope we, are, we, are, we have the power to stand in front of them. <laughs> okay. So, Koya,